Hi everyone. In this video, we will um, validate a login forum using JavaScript. Okay, to validate a login forum in JavaScript, I have already created this login forum, uh, and we will just validate it in this video. And the design of this uh, login forum is already in my YouTube channel, so you can watch that. So now let's validate this login forum. So it is the code. Okay, we have this code for that, and also a CSS file. So these are two input fields with me email and password. Now we will validate them. So first of all, we will create a separate another file which I have created validation.js in the same directory. Both are in the same directory. Okay. Desktop test folder. Okay. Uh, in this validation folder, let's, cre let's create a function validation. Okay. By the name of validation, we have created this. So now let's import this file in our HTML file. Let's validation.js I have imported it so now whenever we click the submit button so we should validate our login form so let's call the on submit we will call that return validation okay we will call that function by the name of validation this one okay so now let's uh, uh, just validate our forums let's assign a name to our forum okay let's come here Oh, sorry, we should assign this to the login forum, to the forum. Now let's assign a name, name is equal to F1. Okay, it is the name of this forum. And also the name of, uh, this is email, and the name of password is password. Now let's come here. First we will get the value of name and the uh, password. War name is equal to document dot f1 forum one dot uh, name data value okay dot email sorry email email and also let's write here email and also the same we will write by the password password f1 password after getting the value so now we will perform that if the email if the email was equal to equal to the email empty it means if email was empty so then we will just display an error here okay display an error under this in red color the image is required so how to do that so let's first of all i will add a span tag here okay so here i will add an id email error now let's first I will get that var email error is equal to document dot query selector we will select that span tag by uh, id email error after that now let's assign uh, a text to that email error dot inner html is equal to email is required and also we will change the uh, color of that email error dot style dot color is equal to right okay and we will return false let's check it first of all let's come here refresh the page and let's press the login button see we have this the email is required the same thing we will do for the password uh, before going to forward to the password password so we will apply another um, validation and email so first let's declare a regular expression for email I have this regular expression I will explain it to you yeah this mean um, not space and at sign okay without space and at sign we should have all the characters and plus mean one or more after characters then we should have at okay email for example example at gmail.com first of all the character then we should have the at sign then again not without space and at sign we should have all the characters for example uh, at gmail okay gmail then uh, we should have a dot and then the characters okay so this is the pattern for the email F 
um, email pattern that test a uh, email so if the email match with this pattern okay it will return through this function otherwise it will return false so if it match we will assign this not if it didn't match so then we will come here and now again we will do the same thing like this and just here we will write email didn't match okay now the same thing we will write for the password too okay just for the password i will declare a separate pattern let's just copy this if password was empty then we should declare another e error for the let's copy this and paste it tear down this and name it password error and also if we will get it okay as we have got we get it like this we will get it for the password also here we will write password password error and here password error after that just come here password password error that inner HTML password is required okay same like this and this now we will declare up another pattern for the password we have a pattern here paste it here so password pattern means that at least one digit at least one small character at least one uh, capital character and then we have the characters uh, and um, zero to nine digits and the, sh the the number should be eight not less than eight okay now let's write here password for not test so then here we will write password didn't match otherwise return true let's check it let's refresh the page see first of all let's click it email is required and also we should have that okay whenever it comes to this area so it returns okay it returns to the um, back to the forum that the email is required let's write the email for example I will write email at okay not the dot it will see email didn't match okay now let's write gmail.com now it will match okay now uh, email didn't match uh, sorry so we should clear that and now let's uh, if it was not equal to this then else we should clear this text okay this should be empty now let's check it email at gmail c dot key see that has removed and now the password is required if we enter um, a rank password for example one two three four five six seven eight password didn't match if i enter uh, capital and small letter again didn't match if I enter um, capital letter so it match but uh, the problem is that uh, we should enter here the same like this okay and password error that should be empty yes refresh the page and let's come here 
it is okay but the password is required I will enter the correct password the password didn't match uh, let's check it password pattern dot test a password was equal to empty yes. Oh, the error is that here we should write password password okay the pattern we should write this password now let's check that and just appreciate didn't match but if I write see the password has matched and the forum has submitted so it was all about that forum uh, login forum validation in javascript so if you have liked this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching